Welcome back everyone to the Slab Stocks YouTube channel. My name is Aaron, your host, and today we have a very special video. I am going back two years ago to watch our 2019 Penny Stocks competition at the Chicago National Sports Collectors Convention. This show is huge. It's the biggest show in the United States, actually in the world, for sports cards. And two years ago, it was crazy. The show was massive. So many people were there. And this summer, in 2021, there should be another national in Chicago, barring COVID. So I really hope that we all can get there and have some fun and do things like this because Nate and I went head to head seeing who could buy the best cards for $20. So I'm going to watch this video back for the first time in almost two years and I'm going to see what type of cards were bought for how much compared to today's values and just see how much has the industry changed over the last two years because I think it's going to be really cool to see because this will really show how much stuff was worth then, how much is stuff worth now. I'll be live searching on eBay, the cards I bought during it, and some other cards I passed on too. But uh, let's let's get into it. I'm super excited and I can't wait to watch. I'm Aaron. I'm Nate. And we're here live at the 2019 National Sports Collectors Convention in Chicago to do head-to-head -head penny stocks for 20 bucks. Whoever gets the best cards comes out on top. Yep. And at the very end, we'll be giving them away to all you guys. No matter what we get, they're going away. So if somebody has a Vlad Otto out there for 20 bucks, somebody's getting it. <laughs> Let's go, bro. Here we go. It's fired up. Look at that vintage logo. All right. I haven't even been around this show yet. It's my first time actually going out to buy stuff other than a couple of vintage cards. That was true. So I Hard to get go out when you have a booth. Do my best to find some cheap uh, modern. $20 limit was quite hard. hard to see. Got some rookies over here. We got a Luca Optic. A Luca? Oh, right away. Got a Luca Optic, the rookies. We got to go check that. We got to go to eBay and see how much that is selling for. All right, here we go. 2018 Optic, Luca Doncic, the rookies. Let's see how much this card is worth today. All right, PSA 10, 227, 232, PSA 9, 110, PSA 9, 102. Can we find a non-graded? Oh, there we go. 65 for a non-graded on January 31st. I'm not sure how much that person was asking for it. I imagine it was around $3 based on looking in the boxes and whatnot, but that would have been a crazy buy for sure. One that I did not make, but let's see what else. I was able to buy or not buy. That's not bad. Oh, I see a lot of boxes. Okay, let's do. Nate sees a lot of boxes. We got boxes right here, right in front of us. He just doesn't know what to do. Two eggs. We got a little Tyler Wagner. Shout out Mealy Pops. There you go, Jamil, our guy. Mealy Stocks. That was his booth. Limit very yeah, hard. Ben Simmons and Patrick Mahomes. Oh, here with the Draymond Green. Mahomes? Uh, you, I, no I just say Mahomes. I'm not exactly sure if they're going home with me, but I cannot use phones to look up pricing. So you know the rules: no phones, uh, no Green price lookup. Chrome. I think the one thing we'll run into this late is that uh, everyone will have already picked through everything. Basically, what I'm looking so for Nate is thought. a bunch of uh, anything Bowman Chrome, Bowman or Tops Chrome Heritage, just because it sells easy. Wait, 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 wait. Pause that, Nate. Nate, you weren't looking for any basketball cards. No prism, no optic, no select. What a mistake. Let's see how that plays out. Could you uh, let me know what individual prices would be on each of those? Six bucks on that. Fifteen on Simmons. Ten on that. Do you guys see that? Let me zoom in here. Let me zoom in here. Look at that. That is a Donruss Patrick Mahomes card right up there in the top right. Let's look up and see how much that card's worth. I think he quoted me $10 on that, he just said. Let's see. All right, 300 for a non-graded. 225 for a non-graded. PSA 9 sold for 481. 307 non-graded. 229 non-graded. 291. 245. So $10 into over 200. Would have been a crazy buy. If you guys see those counters on the screen, the 2019, 2021, and then the ROI, as I buy stuff, I will be logging down my purchase price in 2019. As we look them up on eBay, I'll be logging down how much it's worth today, and then we will calculate the ROI based on that, if I were to hold these cards for two years. Obviously, with the $20 limit, really no range there. Could have spent 50% of my money and would have had them a home. Perfect. Thank you. 
Not part of Penny Stocks, but T Wags would enjoy that. Probably has more card spot than me right now. <laughs> I had zero at this time, I think. Potentially. One would imagine. Hi. Here we go. Could I, uh, Here we take go. Look through the Prism Rookie stack. This will be good. Thank you. Yeah. That's three dollars. Three dollars on Bagley. I just gotta. Hey, did you give Aaron a deal on any of this crap? Did you give Aaron a deal on any of this stuff? <laughs> Wait from like card talk. He ain't winning this penny stock episode. Not nah, over my dead body. The Our guy. That, that was a uh, fun time with him there. Hey man, how's it going? All right, let's see what happens. Good. Okay, so this was my stack right here. I was okay. gonna ask you some questions on prices individually, yeah. and then maybe at the end we could talk to them and work something out here. And 12, 15, 8, 5, 3, 5, 6, 4. Can you take 8 bucks for you, too? Oh. Sure. Okay. There so we good. go. First deal. Trey Young Prism Rookie for $4. Let's hit up eBay. I mean, I actually, PSA 10, 485. PSA 10, 485. 9, 140. Let's get a non graded in here. Looks like 85 for. A non-graded Trey Young Prism Base rookie will round up to that 85. Man, crazy card, crazy card. Grabbed him for four dollars. Okay, so after the very first card, we are plus 2,025 percent ROI if we hold from 2019 until today. Let's go for it, but it's in pretty good condition. Also got this Christian Yelich, yeah, so we'll have to check out that one too. Day. All right, so we got a 15 dollar purchase today. Actually, so we're recording this on 218, and today one sold for 15 dollars. A PSA nine went for 55, so we'll mark it down as 15. First eight dollars spent. Got the Trey Young. Got the Christian Yelich. Beautiful. Gold, first Bowman. Great buy. Uh, I think we did pretty well on the first purchase so far. You got any like dollar boxes of rookies and stuff like that, or right Let's here see. mostly? Well, you should ask. Like basketball rookies, I'm mostly looking for. Haven't had a chance to put these out. Really? Oh boy. It, literally, they have not been cracked. Okay, so um, good timing for me. I'm, let me put you on the corner. Let's I like go. This type of stuff because big box. Yeah, it's Alex Rodriguez Yankees. Oh, here's card number three. Alex Rodriguez, let's look it up. All right, it looks like there's not really any sold in the past three months. So we're just going to count that as zero. Probably was not a great purchase, especially considering the other stuff I could have bought. But we'll knock that off the purchase price in 2019, and then we'll just make it zero for 2021. Like this is what I'm looking oh. for right here, like Jock Peterson. Gold number nine, two, pretty excited about that one back in uh, 2019. Let's look it up. All right, looks like that there's a five dollar and fifty cent auction, so we'll add that one to the total as well. Peyton Manning refractor from 2000. Oh, here we go, Peyton Manning refractor. All right, so it looks like an auction went for 24 with one bid. It said seven, 16.50. Not great to value it, but let's put it at like now. Oh, we'll put it at 1650. Put it at that middle sale. Red, white, and blue. Michael Porter Here we go. Here's he's getting into some prison again. basketball. All right, so I picked up this MPJ red, white, and blue for 55 cents. Let's see what it's worth now. All right, PSA 10, 220, 175, non graded 42, PSA 10, 105, 205, PSA 9, 60. We'll go with that most recent 42.50 auction for that red, white, and blue. Now that was a good buy. Oh, I got hollow silver from MPJ. That's why you go through the back of it. Oh, there we go. There That's we go. Really right there. That is what we want to see. All right, so clearly that was an MPJ hot box. I also got the hollow for 55 cents. All right, there's a non graded on January 28th for 152 and 128 and 102. So we'll go with 125 between the three numbers. All right, that was for sure the best buy. This was probably one of the worst buys, so let's see how much this one's worth. Antonio Galloway. All right, I was a really big fan of Select, and I still am, so that's what made me pick it up, but this card's got to be worth just about nothing. So buy now, best offer accepted for under $10. Let's see if we can find that price really quick. All right, so we're over here on 130point.com. Let's paste it in. So $7 on February 14th, Select Orange, number out of 49 Let's add that to the total. Josh Rose and Blue. Oh, a Josh you know, Rose and Blue. All right, no sales for Josh Rosen. Let's check out the listed just to see. It looks like we have one on bids at a dollar and five cents with five days left. We'll mark it a dollar and five. Might as well at least count it how much it's at on bids right now. Actually, pretty cool. Aaron Rodgers select blue number not 175. Oh, that's a um, I don't know if I can get that for cheap, but I'm also going to probably take this Josh Rosen. Another silver. Josh Rosen. Short print. And since I thought I needed more Josh Rosen, let's see how much this sells for. 
This absolutely baffles me. I cannot believe that select silver rookie of Josh Rosen sold for $15 on February 12th. Probably sold myself short a bit on that blue giving a dollar and five cents. I might bump that up to five dollars because if a non or not numbered silver is going for fifteen, for sure that blue out of one seventy five is at least five dollars. Anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh, sorry. you want the other box? I got one more box. I this is probably good for now. Okay. Alright, so I got passed on another three, box. Four, five, six, seven, eight, okay. nine, yeah. ten, eleven. You, you use six on it? Six works. Six bucks. <laughs> what? I'm not worried about it. Awesome. He's mine. I just paid six bucks for this whole lot right here. I am absolutely crushing you right now. I bought one dollar worth of cards. I'm <laughs> absolutely crushing you right what now. What do you got? What do you got? I'm not even gonna tell you where I found it. Dude, I got so one dollar. You, you don't want to see it. But uh, this is not going well for me. I've literally bought four cards for one dollar. You hate to see it. I ain't worried. They're probably lying. Really. Also, I'm <laughs> Things struggling I'm lying. to find stuff here. You know, that's the issue we're gonna run into is that a lot of these cards are worth like two cents. <laughs> Uh, I got a Panini Contenders Jamal Murray at 99. Should have bought it. I'm gonna go back. I actually even think he's gonna give me a better deal this time. Now that he knows what's Circling up. Circling back to see what was up. I'll see if he can give me the box. They did that too. You're Nate, right? Yes, sir. You're, looking, you're always looking for KU stuff, right? I am. Oh, I did it. Take him. This guy feels good. <laughs> not high end, but I, I got it. I picked it up a long time ago because I thought I liked the Go Jayhawks and stuff. Thank you. Look at that. I appreciate that. That's amazing. Two years ago. Oh, thank you. Two years ago, wow. someone rolled up to, to Nate at the show and gave him some Jayhawks cards. That's crazy. I'm struggling right now. I think we had like 4,000 followers at this point on Instagram. I just ran into my buddy and he's doing terrible and I want to destroy him in this. So I'd love to pick through your other box. It's go time. We got Drew Brees. From 2008 tops. Oh, love 08 gold. tops. Let's look that one up. Seven. All right, we got one that sold for under two dollars here. Let's see how much that one sold for. Dang. All right, so it came to 130 point. It looks like that was actually an auction that got an offer that was higher than the starting bid, which must have been two dollars. Uh, it says nine dollars. It's numbered one out of 2008. Sometimes people like the first serial number, so I'll call mine five since uh. I will give the person who bought it a little bit of credit that they probably wanted the first serial numbered. I almost wish I didn't spend my eight dollars over with the other guy. Even though I still think I did okay over there. I say I wish I didn't spend the eight dollars, but I got Trey Young prison base crazy. rookie. There we go. Darren Fox optic rookie. I'm looking for nice. Fox in here. Got Fifty-five cent rookie. purchase times two. All right, so the last non-grade auction went for around twenty dollars for De'Aaron Fox rookie card. That was a nice buy. I'll round that one up to twenty from the eighteen forty-six, especially with that four twenty in shipping. So twenty bucks for each De'Aaron Fox optic rookie card. Tops Allen Iverson rookie. This has got to be worse. Oh boy! There we go. AI. There we go. Rookie. Two Allen Iverson rookie cards. Excited for this one. PSA eight one thirty-five. PSA ten. 12.25 and non-graded for $71. So I did buy two of those, so $71 each. That was a really nice buy. All right, so after the Allen Iverson purchase, we are up to $503 as of today. 3,220% return on investment. Let's see what else we can grab. Chicago Marky, Sammy Watkins, Pulser, Horn was really good. I oh, just grab it. I guess I grabbed it. Right there. Told you all, I like that Topps Chrome. All right, so it looks like that there's no sales for this card non graded. So I'm just going to chop that up to no one even wanting this card. So we'll mark it as $0 for the Watkins. Darren Fox. Oh, oh ho -ho. parallels from Optic. Three times red and yellow parallels at 55 cents each. I like that one. So it looks like that the most recent auction went for $20.50. That's the value we'll use for the three each. That's another nice buy. Oh, I see Jaron Jackson Jr. Prison rookie. What do we got? Nice. Base JJJ. All right, PSA 9, 43, 43. Canadian sale. Let's get a USD sale for a non graded. Looks like 1250. 1250, we'll call it for the non graded JJJ. This is one of the one of those ones that you find and you're as excited about. Oh. Yeah, John Collins Scopes. Nice. Rookie from Select. Y'all know how much I like those Select cards. So on. February 16th, we had a $34 auction for John Collins Scopes. Let's book it. All right, so I took 12 out. I have six bucks left. Okay. Let's no, spend I only it. Want five, I want you to oh, gave me the extra me dollar. Let's go. Hey, brother. <laughs> brother, thank you so much, no man. Problem, man. Appreciate it. Really wanted me to get that dub. That's awesome. All right, he just, he just, he just did me a nice one. He left me a dollar left. I want to go see what I can find. Pretty excited, actually. I think you guys are going to get some sick cards. 
<laughs> that is true. Gave away all those cards. What are you doing over here? Are you not? Are you not bargain bin hunting? I'm looking at the wanders. You know we're over. You, you know we're over an hour right now. You know, yeah, wander like autos. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm gonna go over to Gary's booth. I'm gonna try to get an auto card uh, that we can put into the giveaway, and uh, you won't get any film of this. So, too bad. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. Goes get to Gary V Auto. About the people, little Jose Ramirez, Gary V Auto. So, uh, hashtag national. You know, it's what it is. <laughs> He's so upset. Dane Donning, O'Neill Cruz, and John Collins. Hey, you got John Collins, rookie. Dalton Jeffries. <laughs> Brian Anderson. <laughs> Look at that. Hurts when you're a big baseball fan. What else did I get? Oh, a Shea, a Xander Bogarts, and a Denzel Ward. Let's look these things up. When did I get those? So I guess there must have been like an average price per card, obviously, which is why they were all 55 cents on the page when I was tagging them for sale. But that left me with a dollar, and I must have gotten these at the end for less than that, but I just averaged them all out. But uh, either way, let's check this out. Looks like the last auction for a Shea non-graded sold for $47. $30 before that, $35 before that. Let's call it $35. Let's go with that $35 sale. All right, so now it's time for Xander Bogart's Tops Rookie, and it looks like $3, so not a real great purchase there. All right, now finally, a Denzel Ward Classics Green Rookie number 75. Looks like $6, so not too bad there. All right, so in the end, I did dominate Nate at the show. I came away with $58.59 in profit. Nate came away with $3.42 per uh, profit in total. Average profit per card was $2.34 for myself. Nate was $0.57. Cents. But of course, looking up at the bigger numbers up there, if I spent $20 in 2019, that would have had me $655 today, which is nuts. It's crazy to see how much this industry has grown since then. Cards I was buying for you know fifty cents to a dollar now going for fifty to one hundred and twenty five dollars three thousand one hundred and seventy five percent total ROI from twenty nineteen until now, just absolutely wild to see how the industry has changed. We just finished up at Penny Stocks here in Chicago. I came away with an absolute haul. I did not. Nathan might Trevor Bauer challenge his cards actually. Yeah, I'm pretty close to just chucking them all. <laughs> pretty disappointing. Spent nineteen bucks, and you guys will see the stash I got at the end of the video. I, I spent ten dollars. I got a dollar left that will be going on the mail. So I guess a dollar I had left. left. I'm not sure where the other ones Eight came from, but you guys get the hey, point. Gary. If you guys are going to do this at a show back at home or here in Chicago, we'd recommend getting out early. Sometimes there's Good boxes tip. that are just already picked through and destroyed, like my box over there. There's only like half a row left, and it's the third day into the show. But, I mean, actually pretty great. You guys, I think, are going to really like the giveaway that we're going to do. Last words of wisdom, don't go to the National to do punny stocks. Or you so go to the National Penny Stocks and you destroy Nate like myself. He's so upset. I flipped through a lot of boxes, found a lot of trash. <laughs> Not good trash. Not great. Guys, I'm so excited to get back to times like this. The 2019 Chicago National was an amazing experience. It was the first time we had a booth at the Chicago National. We will have a booth in 2021 as well in the exact same spot. It's the corner of the show, booth number 695. It's pretty much packed the entire show, though. Being in the corner really gave us a lot of space. It's a super fun time. I cannot wait to be back in Chicago, hopefully at the end of July, beginning of August of this year. But sooner than that, I will be in Miami the following weekend, February 27th on Saturday for the first event that I'll be attending for sports cards since this card show. I am so excited. It's going to be a ton of fun. Summertime cards and myself are hosting it. And then the month after that, I'm going to go to Dallas for March 12th and 13th. I'm so excited for that. I'm going to try to do penny stocks at both of the shows, at least an abbreviated version. I'm not sure how much I'll be able to because of the COVID and people digging through cards. I don't know if I actually will be able to, but if I can, I will try my best to. And everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Thanks for checking out the 2019 Chicago National with myself here live reacting to the show. It, it was such a fun time. I'm so happy I could share that experience with you all here. Guys, check it out. That is how the industry has changed over the last two years. And extrapolate that $20, make it $100, make it $1,000. And that's life-changing stuff for a lot of people out there. So I'm so happy that you are in the industry today if you're watching this video. 
If you have any questions, if you have anything you guys want to say about this video, put it in the comments below. We'll try to respond to them. Thank you all for watching. My name is Aaron, your host, and I'll see you all in the next video.